take a look at that. There's a power moon thing that we can open that I don't want to open right now. Hello, everybody on YouTube. This is Super Nintendo. Welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. Last time, we got most of the power moons in the Sand Kingdom. There was one that we couldn't get yet for some reason. I don't remember what six what power moon number 68 is. I'll have to look on my 100% file to look at it, but, um, anyway, like, in any case, we are here in the Lake Kingdom. We are gonna be trying to get ourselves, ah, oh. Uh, we are going to be trying to get ourselves the remaining power moons in this kingdom, too. We're the Roman Raisin. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go. You just say the same thing all the time. It's kind of boring. Why am I sucking? Hey, you guys are ghosting. How dare you? Why am I sucking so bad here? thing by pressing the boost button by pressing the Y and B button simultaneously it is a very good way to kind of stay one head one step against the, the Koopa people thing That was the longest race we've had with them. Blazing fast, bro. Here's the prize. Blah, 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 blah. Alright. Um. We already have that. Uh. I don't think we done is there even is there even a female goom here i don't think there is let's go fishing i don't know why i'm still talking in this tone and their little round bodies are so cute. I want to see one up close, but I'm too nervous to approach one. I wish one could visit me here. She's too nervous to approach something that is adorable and round. That has adorable and round things. Take that as you will. <laughs> Cuteness. I can hardly stand the ador adorability. Thanks for coming by, little friend. 
Would you like a power moon? Yes, give power moons to a fish. I made a lake jeep jeep. That sounds like a really, really corny, like, B-movie from the 80s. <laughs> I met a cheap cheap. Alright, this one has to do with positioning. I want to fix it, I really do, but it's just so heavy. Alright. Uh... I'm not sticking. so much. Of course I didn't have to do it. You had a power moon, and I need them all. found me. Very clever. You can have this as a reward. Is it a secret to everyone? Let's keep this place our little secret. Ah, so it is a secret to everyone. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna name you Error. <laughs> I don't know what it is with me making Zelda jokes. Um... All right, let's go to the shop. The looks lady dress is really pretty. Huh, you think Peach would hold on to it? Or at the very least she would buy it. Uh, let's buy one of their power moons. And let's go swimming. Where the way this look like we are going swimming. Have you ever tried walking around with like those little flipper things? It is not the easiest thing in the world. If you travel all the way to the Lake Kingdom, you should dress for the occasion. If you want to see the Lich Lady dress up close, you should be in swim clothes. Traveler, you look ready to swim. Please go inside. I don't know why we need to be in swim clothes to see this, so... Whatever. I have defiled your dress. That sounds really wrong. I feel undressed. <laughs> that, that is not helping. <laughs> Alright, um, let's see, did we go in here, I think we did, doesn't seem like there's anything left to do in here, alright. What about down here? I have no idea what those kinds of enemies are called, but they look kinda cool. Let's 
So, uh, I guess I could talk about a little bit of my kind of feelings of regarding a certain rumor that has surfaced recently. And, like, it's definitely something that will become outdated, like, really freaking quick, especially by the time that this goes up. Because, um, you know, I record these, like, so much in advance that it really doesn't matter. But, um, apparently there is a rumor that for the 30th or 35th anniversary for, uh, Mario, that they are going to be remastering or bringing Super Mario 64 and Sunshine and the Galaxy games and whatnot to the Switch. And I... I don't, I don't know. Like, I would prefer, honestly, just full-on remakes, not remasters. Like, remake Super Mario 64 in the... Bleh, in the Odyssey engine. You know, like, I would honestly prefer that, because it's just, I don't know, it, it's really hard to explain, but I really am just not a big fan of Super Mario 64, the normal version. Taking notes, dive in sweet. Dive in Oh, I think I know where. Talking about. Why is Mario still wearing his gloves when he's going sweaty? Did we have that one? No, we didn't. You know, and it's the same problem I have with Super Mario uh, Sunshine. You know, like Super Mario Sunshine has the same freaking control problem I have with 64. And, like, it's to a lesser extent when you have Flood because you're able to correct yourself. But it still feels like Mario slips around too much. You know, and it's just... I don't know. No, we, are, we already came through here. Um... Oh, there it is. You know, and it's just like, if if they uh, are gonna be bringing those games to the thing, I wish that they would um, tweak the controls a bit. You know, like have it be a bit more. I don't know if you, I don't know if they would be able to tweak it so it's a lot more like Odyssey. But if they could, that would be greatly appreciated. I feel like the Galaxy games are better in this regard, just like make it, just give it an option to turn off the damn motion controls, because unlike Super Mario, or, or unlike uh, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, I believe you could do that for the Galaxy games, because the Galaxy games, the use of motion controls is very minute, I guess you would you could say. You know, it, it's not, it's not anywhere near as sophisticated and uh, integral to the experience as it is for Skyward Sword. But I think this will do it because we got like 10 more power moons left in this kingdom. So I think that will do it for this episode next time on Super Mario Odyssey. We're going to go after the last 10 power moons in this kingdom. See you guys then.